Hello and welcome back. In our last lesson, we ended off by talking about the need to handle uh, cases where there is no root that is matched in our API. Uh, we'll get back a 404 if that is the case. And so the last thing we want to do in our router is create one more root handler here. And so we've used this before, but it's the we're going to make use of this all method here. And that's basically going to cover all our bases if a request is a post a get, a delete, patch, put, whatever it is, we will um, be able to handle that case. I'm going to make use of the star and it's going to kind of act as a wild card. And this is saying, if there's no route that matches any of the other ones above, we're just gonna have a request handler that, that kind of let the user know in a graceful way that uh, none of the, the routes uh, map or there is no route in this API that we've written that matches uh, the one that you're requesting. So we will set up our request handler as we would normally do. Request. All right, and as per usual, we'll have a, a try catch block. Should be used to this by now. And then we'll throw a new error if we receive one. But in this case, we're going to set it up in a very similar way. We're going to say response.status. In this case, we want to throw a 404 error instead of the 200. We're going to send back a JSON object and we'll have a timestamp just to match what we're doing in our API. We will have a message here and we'll say no root matches your request. And then we will just have a code of 404. And so this just kind of allows us to handle cases where there are no routes and the, the user is requesting one. And so now you'll see the server has restarted and let's go and we'll navigate to this API slash mistake. If I hit send, you'll see instead of getting this rubbish HTML error here, we'll get something that actually looks a bit better and more consistent with our API. So you'll see, we still get that 404 not found, but this time we get a JSON object back um, that looks like we've actually uh, written this code and it belongs to the API. So you'll see the message here will be no root matches your request. And this just helps the user or the client uh, understand what exactly is going on. Okay, and with that all done, I think we can close off this entire section. I think we've done some great work just to kind of reflect on what we've done. Uh, we've created a, a router folder, which we've imported into our index.js and we've injected that into our express server to handle a whole lot of different routes. We've also appended a new prefix into our API with the forward slash API prefix. And we've also written a number of different routes with their corresponding request handlers in our router.js and we've got a route now for register login and log out and we are successfully being able to request a response from these routes and we're doing that through postman and so we've got the skeleton of um, what we need for our api and things are starting to shape up nicely and now we can start moving on to a few more interesting things uh, we're going to in the next section start looking at how we are going to model a user object and this is something we need to get done so we can actually start talking about authentication how to authenticate a user successfully but in the next section we will uh, take a look at creating a user model as well as how to register a new user and that type of stuff. So I'll see you on over there. Cheers for now.